Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to find the factors of this given polynomial by grouping method. I want you to watch this video till the very end because I will also show you how to solve this polynomial for x. So now I am going to show you two different ways to find the factors of this given polynomial by using this grouping technique. As you can see over here, if you look at this polynomial, if you make a group of this first two terms and then this one make another group, can you see there is anything could be factored out in this first group, there is nothing in common, so that means we got an issue. Okay, how are we going to resolve this one? We must put it in descending order, we must rearrange it. So, here I rewrote it in our descending order, that means the power goes from higher to lowest one. Okay, so the degree is 3 over here, degree 2, degree 1, and constant term. So right now let's go ahead and make the grouping. Okay, let's do the group of these first two and then these two over here. Can you see what is in factored, could be factored out in this first group? So we can see x squared is in common. I can factor that one out and in the parentheses we are left with simply x plus 5. Look at in the second group there is a something is in common that is negative 4 and by the way once you take this one out x plus 5 we are left with this one and one more thing let me just uh, go over that these x square that we took it outside and negative 4 these are also called gcf greatest common factors all right so far so good and then the next thing i want you to just look at these two parentheses they are same you can go ahead and put it in the front x plus five times whatever we are left with these two just put it in the second parentheses x square minus four now i want you to focus on this part x square minus 4 this represents a difference of two squares so we are going to apply this formula let me show you how i'm going to do this one so over here x square minus 4 x square minus 4 could be written as x power 2 and 2 square could be written as 2 square so we're going to apply this formula where this is your a this is your b this could be written as as x minus x plus 2 times x minus 2 using this fact so let's go ahead and this is x plus 5 is already there just write it down and this thing could be written as simply x plus 2 times x minus 2. So these are where our complete factors. So thus x plus 5 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 are our factors. So now I'm going to show you the second method to factor this given polynomial by grouping method. So here's the very first step once again let's put it in a descending order that means from degrees goes from highest to lowest and the next thing that uh, in the second method uh, if you want to make a different group than the previous one let's make a if should you decide to make a group of let's see group of these two and then the group of these two you can do that one and you can get the same answer as well. So let's do that one. So this is simply if you want to rearrange them, you can put down 
x power 3 and then this is negative 4 x and then you put down plus 5 x square minus 20 okay so now let's go ahead and group them okay so this is our first group and this is our second group so let's look at the first group over here what is in common over here you can see x could be factored out that means x is our gcf so we are left with x square minus 4 and in the second group we have plus 5 as in common we call it gcf so we are left with simply x square minus 4. now you can see these two parentheses they are same so go ahead and factor them out and put it in the front so i can write x square minus 4 time then you write down these two numbers over here whatever x and this number x plus 5 so far so good now once again we want to factor this one this one as well by using this formula the difference of 2 square so x square minus 4 could be written as x square minus 2 square so we can apply this formula so this simply become x plus 2 times x minus 2 that means this thing could be written x square minus 4 could be written as x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 5 and these are our factors so x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 5 are our factors and that is our answer and finally i am going to show you how to solve this polynomial always remember when you want to solve this polynomial you must put it equal to zero and then we're going to find the roots and here are the factors that we figured out previously isn't it now i want you to set these one equal to zero and you know that these parentheses these three factors when they're equal to zero you can separate them you can split them up you can put down x plus two equal to zero separate them and then x minus two equal to zero and finally x plus five equal to zero if x plus 2 equal to zero for sure x equal to negative 2 that is one of our solutions here x equals to positive 2 is another one and here x equal to negative 5 is another solution so thus our solution set turns out to be 2 and then I put down negative 2 and then negative 5 and that is our answer and here is your assignment at the very end can you solve this problem on your own you need to factor this one by grouping technique and also I want you to solve it as well luckily I have already uploaded this video could you check it out and see the correct answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.